No Limit Texas Hold'em is the Cadillac of poker. You don't happen to have 8,000 bucks on you. Oh, no, no, we don't use money in heaven. Comes in pretty handy down here, Bob. Oh, you just want a million dollars! You're making a run at it, aren't you? Rolling up a stake and going to Vegas. such a hurry to get out this morning, I left my actual camera at home. Please miss home. So, no actual camera today, so we'll just have to make do with a phone. Hopefully it's quality is still decent enough and the audio is not horrendous. We'll see. And yeah, so I left really quickly this morning to hop, hop in last level of this satellite so you know being like oh I have 45 minutes to get to the casino before Blade Ridge ends and it's 45 minutes away so sped here and hopped in last last level got one shift through and then folded the blinds so have about the same starting stack so I have around eight bigs after the first break and 23 people here, so like four get a seat, and we'll hope to do well. <laughs> really push forward, that's about it, and just hope to get the shows that we want through, and get called when you want to, and you gotta double up and get a seat, so that's pretty much it. And didn't really want to fire $350 into the satellite, into this 1500 air, and didn't want to sell action either, because not that big of a tournament, so just kind of in that range of like, I don't feel great about selling action, don't feel great about doing it all on my own either, so let's light $85 on fire and see what happens, right? So $85 spin to get in, and if we get in, cool. If not, we'll just play cash, and it's probably going to be a good day either way. Alright, well, good news is we're at the final table of the satellite. There are eight people left and six seats, so we're really close on the soft level. But that's fine, we'll just get tough and win it! And there's three people shorter than me, but with eight big blinds, effective is pretty much what I have, so it's not too deep and, you know, could just go in at any point, so just need a last, get rid of two more people and we'll have a seat to the $350 survivor where the one in five get 1500 bucks, so that would be a. Uh, That'd be a decent term to get into. Thanks. All right, well, we're in this three hundred fifty dollars satellite to fifteen hundred. <laughs> it's basically what it is, so. He said one in five get fifteen hundred dollars cash. So min cash pays the exact same as first place, and so people make just a lot, just like satellites, people make a ton of mistakes. Can't fold ace king, etc. When they have a big stack, and just you know they can just fold their way to the money. And so yeah, people make a lot of mistakes in these, and they pay twenty percent of the field. So hopefully this should be good. First break now and have a little bit of over starting like starting stack is 15k we have like 17k right now so no real big hands just a couple of decent pots that went our way and so i'm gonna try and yeah win the saddie to the saddie basically that's what this is so it'd be nice to uh to to win two tournaments in one day Our satellite got 30 people 
for the satellite. We have 39 people in this tournament, so not that many, but that's okay. It doesn't change the price pool really. It's min cash is still min cash, and so there's 39 people in this, so we'll be eight eight spots paid, seven spots paid, and eight it's uh, 1,200. So yeah, eight spots paid. So. So I didn't go over this hand at the casino, but seeing as it was probably the most significant hand of the tournament, I thought I'd go ahead and go over it. thought we'd do a little hand history from home. So blinds are 400, 400 and 800 with a 100 uh, chip ante. And the another gun person limps, another gun plus two, limps along. We're in middle position with pocket aces, so raises up here to 3,500. Folds back around to them and both the limpers call. So we are three ways to flop. Start the hand around 22k effective, so not too deep. Flop is decent for aces. Uh, it's king, queen, eight, rainbow. They both checked me and should still have the best hand here a lot of time. It sets, it sets up stack sizes a little bit weird with ha only having 17.5 behind, the pot almost of uh, 14. So Stack sizes are a little bit weird. I think if we jam flop, it's a, just a little bit too much, and I don't think we ever get called by worse too much, especially on a rainbow board. So I opted to bet 10k here with the intention to jam most all turns when called, and the other gun person decides he's not going to wait for the turn, goes ahead and jams it on all, all in there. And I think I'm plus two folds back on us. Rivers of ten. Rivers of ten. Yeah. So I just bang bang. Flop is three eight. Jack could have pocket eights here. Maybe even maybe maybe lumps under the gun with king queen. But uh, there's just I th feel like there's just way more combos of. Straight draw possibilities, straight draw, back draw, flush draw that you could have here as opposed to pocket eights or king, any made hands. Uh, just a lot more combos of those. So, with that in mind, and not that much behind anyway, it's kind of a shrug, call it off. And there's no more action. The turn is a four, and the river is another eight, which pairs the board. Villain tables jack 10 of clubs for a uh, flopped open ender backdoor flush draw and does not improve and so we hold for a pretty decent pot there. Got down to the final table. Paid 9 spots technically because 9th got 300. Then we are in the money. And then. Chip leader busted aces with queen 10 on a 10 river, and uh, yeah, so, so we started the day with $85, then we won two satellites, basically, and now we have 1500 so. Yeah, so, feels good, feels good to make a profit on the trip to St. Louis, otherwise I was just gonna have to grind cash and just hope to at least break even, which wouldn't be bad. Wouldn't be bad, and I mean, sometimes it's poker, but it feels really good to to get in for eighty-five dollars to three fifty, and then and win that, and then win the three fifty as well for two fifteen hundred.